everyone, welcome to TNW Electronics. In this video, I will be showing you how to get Ubuntu on your Chromebook. Now I'll show you how to dual boot it or have it permanently on your Chromebook. Now before we begin, I have a message from our sponsor. I would like to thank JP Premium for sponsoring this video. They sell just about everything. Um, lately I've been getting their electronic stuff. But they also sell quite a bit more. And so, like, I bought their Black Pods Pro the other day. And they came in and I really liked them. And then this new USB LED light strips. I have those under my desk. And they just, they look great. Um, and this Hypebeast phone case. My uh, friend has it. He says it's uh, wonderful. He would recommend it to just about anybody. So, please go check them out. There's a link in the description. And for a limited time only, you can use the code April Sale. I'll have it on the bottom of the screen here. Code is April Sale, and you get 10% off your entire order. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is remove the developer screw so that we can put the Chromebook in developer mode. So, you're going to need to take out all the screws on the back and then pop off the back. Now this is the Chromebook, um, Acer Chromebook 11 CB3111. Now this developer screw is in many different places on very different on many different Chromebooks. On my Chromebook, my developer screw is right here. It should be totally different size than the other ones. That's what a normal one looks like. And here's what the developer one looks like. It's normally quite wider and has, yeah. So first. We got to remove that. Okay, and then once this is removed, now you can put it in developer mode. So we're going to put the back on the Chromebook and then boot it back up. So now that we've taken the developer screw out, we need to put the Chromebook in developer mode. So you need to click escape, refresh, and the power button. And then this screen will pop up and you need to click control D. And then you need to click enter. And this will turn off OS verification. And then you need to click control D again. And then now it will say your system is transitioning to developer mode everything else now this will void your warranty so if you have a warranty I wouldn't recommend doing this and then so I'll get back to you guys when this is done so once it goes through that whole setup it took my computer like three ish minutes mm -hmm. to finish that you should get this screen and then it's basically normal setup Let's go. Um, yeah, we gotta connect to Wi Fi. Okay, you wanna make sure you have a somewhat fast connection for this. And then accept Google's terms, check for updates and stuff. This can take a bit. Okay, and now what we're, we're going to do is go to Browse as Guest. So now we need to download Chromebook Crouton, so just look up. So let's look up Chromebook Crouton. And then you want to Go to this GitHub website, and we're going to scroll down to usage, and you'll see this little Google link here. You're going to click on that, and it'll download Crouton. Now we need to open up like um, the Chromebook's terminal, so Control Alt T, 
and it's cross. Well, right now we need to open a shell. So shell is open. And if this doesn't open for you, or there's an error or something, it means you're not in developer mode. So if you're not, go back in the video and follow those steps again and make sure you get it done. So now we need to type sudo space sh and then a little squiggly sign and then slash and then download and then another slash and then crouton and then a space and then we need to do a dash e for encryption and dash t for touch screen now i don't have a touch screen so i really don't have to put this but i bet you some of you guys do so i just put it anyway and we are going to use the xfce interface of ubuntu um this works better on my chromebook um, the unity version did not work too well so this is what we are going to use for now so we're going to click enter and then all of this text will go through and you need to make a password for this video our password is just going to be password okay oops okay there we go and this one we're just going to use password again and then okay and so this is going to run and this can take a long time so i'm going to turn off the camera for now i mean this takes a very long time so i'll be back when this is done Okay, so now it's done and it says specify username. So for right now, we're just going to keep up password. Password as the username and password. So Okay. And then, so now that that's done, we are going to start Ubuntu. So what you need to do is a little bit of command right there and you need to just type sudo space well this is just for mine start f x c e 4 so type that click enter password password again and now it's gonna enter Ubuntu. And so here we are. So right now you have Ubuntu and Chrome OS running side by side. So right now we're just gonna use the default config and it's fully running. So this is everything. And now if you wanna go back to Chrome, you do Control alt shift back and now you're back at chrome and if you want to go uh, back to ubuntu Control alt shift four and you're back now if you want to remove chrome permanently you can go through the file system and delete chrome uh, in this video we're just gonna have it run side by side this is kind of like a dual boot except you don't pick when you're booting you pick after you boot so that's it for today's video guys please like and subscribe and don't forget to check out the sponsor of this video jp premium